What's up dudes and doodles? Welcome back for another art related video. If you're new here, hi, my name's Danny and today we're going to go shopping and see what kind of art supplies we can find on a budget. So let's grab a mask and head on out. If you like this video, don't forget to comment down below. And if you, and if you like what you see, don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you get notified each time I upload a new video. But let's go ahead and get into it. <laughs> favorite places you wouldn't expect to find art supplies here but they have quite a selection we're outside of five below so let's go ahead and mask up and see what So in today's shopping trip to Five Below, 
we went in with $20 on a mission to see what kind of uh, supplies we could find to make a doodle with. We got three items and spent less than $15. The first item is the six-piece artist pen set for $3.25. It was supposed to include a 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, 1.0, and a brush pen. However, the pack that I got was missing the 0 0.8, and instead I got two of the 0 0.8. The next item is a 12 count alcohol marker pack for $5, which included a pale pink, a light brown, a regular pink, red, orange, and yellow, along with a light and dark green, and a light and dark blue. Finally, there's also a purple and a black. And our final item is this 70 page art journal for $3.25. I will say that I'm very surprised by the paper in this sketchbook. It feels like a cross between printer paper and cardstock, being that it's not as thin as printer paper, but not as thick as cardstock. It holds up very nicely to the swatching of these supplies with actually no bleed through onto the pages underneath. We'll see how well it holds up when I have to start mixing color. But let's go ahead and sketch something out. So here I have my reference from Pinterest. I'll be sketching Tanjiro from the anime Demon Slayer. I know some of these colors will be hard to pull off with the limited selection I have here. I should have brought the second set of these markers since I was still under the $20 limit, but I'm sure I can make something work for a skin tone. But I'm gonna sit back, have some relaxing music on while you watch me sketch, and I'll be back at the end so we can talk about these products and see how they hold up.
Okay, so final thoughts on these markers and pens. Well, for less than $15, I was able to get 12 pretty decent alcohol markers and six great fine liner pens. No, it wasn't exactly the pens that was listed on the package, but hey, $3.25, they're worth it. I definitely recommend these markers and pens for a beginner artist or someone who doesn't have a lot of funds to go out and buy more expensive brands. They're not Copics, but for the price, I think they held up well. There was no streaking and the colors blended excellent. Yeah, the skin color was a little darker than I wanted, but I'm sure if I would have got the other set as well, there would have been a more suited color and maybe I wouldn't have to have mixed so many. As expected, the markers did bleed through a little, but hey, I did a lot of back and forth between markers. Also, the fine liners did not move or smudge when I put them down. Even right after putting them down, I took the eraser, didn't budge. Well, that's about it for this video. If you enjoyed watching me sketch, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. And don't forget to hit the bell icon so you get notified each time I upload a new video. Also, leave a comment down below and let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see in the future. Or what would you like to see me tackle next? Well, until next time, happy drawing.